Um, here is a message a friend sent it to me. Unfortunately, I can't verify the uh, whether it is written by the set author. So I will just uh, say it. It's written by me, okay? But in fact, it, I'm reading from some somebody's writing because I can't find the original author verify it. So, so um, just let it be me. But you know what I mean. Um, it goes like this. For Trump supporters, let me make one thing very clear. For the record, no one is blaming the president for the virus. Let me repeat, coronavirus is not Trump's fault. Here is a detailed list of what we are blaming him for. Trump declined to use the World Health Organization's tests like other nations. Back in January, over a month before the first COVID-19 case, the Chinese posted a new mysterious virus, and within a week, Berlin radiologists had produced the first diagnostic tests. By the end of February, the World Health, the World Health Organization has shipped out tests to for 60 countries. Oh, but not our government. We declined the tests even as a temporary bridge until the CDC could create its own tests. The question is why? We don't know, but what to look for is which pharmaceutical company eventually manufactures the test and who owns the stock. Keep to In 2018, Trump fired, fired the Homeland Security Advisor Tom Bozat, whose job was to coordinate a response to global pandemics. He was not replaced. In 2009, 18. Dr. Luciana Borio, the NSAC Director for Medical and Biodefense Preparedness, left the job. Trump did not replace Dr. Borio. In 2019, the NSAC's Senior Director for Global Health Security and Biodefense, Tim Sismer, left the position and Trump did not replace the rear emerald. Trump shut down the entire Global Health Security and Biodefense Agency. Yes, he did. Amid the explosive worldwide outbreak of the virus, Trump proposed a 90% cut to the budget of the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, plus a 10% cut to public health services, and a 7% cut to global health services. Those happen to be the organizations that respond to public health threats. In 2018, at Trump's direction, the CDC stopped funding epidemic prevention activities in 39 of the 49 countries, including China. Trump did not appoint a doctor to oversee the U.S. response to the pandemic. He appointed Mike Pence. Trump had on multiple occasions showed doubts about the severity of the virus, even using the word hoax at events and rallies. He even did it at an event where the virus was being spread. Trump has put zero useful information concerning the health risk of the virus out. Trump pretended the, out, the virus had been contained. Trump let a cruise ship at sea for days, denying them proper hospital care rather than increase his numbers in America. Repeat, we do not blame Trump for the virus. We blame him for gutting the nation's preparations to deal with it. We blame him for bungling tests and allowing it to spread uninhabited. We bring him for wasting taxpayers' money on opposed lines and his rallies, like the war. We blame him for putting his own political life over American human life. I hope this clears things up. This is the message that uh, somebody passed it to me, and presumably the author 
is the husband of a, uh, a senior advisor to Mr. Trump. Thank you.